was responsible for the killing of Hussein radiallahu ta'ala an? You can say Shimr, he came up with that idea finally. What about the ones who actually did the killing? They are also to be blamed. Omar ibn Sa'id, who was in charge of the battlefield, he is also to be blamed. Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, who was in Kufa, the governor pulling the strings, he is also to be blamed. Yazid, who is in Damascus, he also shares a blame. The people of Kufa, they also share a blame. Because they were the ones who deserted him. Every one of them shares a portion of the blame. And that's why, example, Kufa, the people who deserted him, we will find soon after there were these movements called the Tawabin movement. The people who want to make Toba, they rose up against the Umayyad. They were called the Tawabun, Tawabin movement. Why? They want to make Toba. They want to seek atonement for their deserting of Hussein. And they beat themselves in all of this here. Are you with us? Are you with us? Jayid. So they, they themselves acknowledged that they were to be blamed. That's why they had that Tawabin movement, which meant to seek atonement because we, you know, we deserted him, so now we need to make things right, etc., etc. So the people of Kufa, remember, number one, the people of Kufa are to be blamed. You remember Abdullah ibn Umar? Think about it. You, you heard this hadith many times. But you didn't really ponder over its meaning. Uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, somebody came and asked him when we were in the state of Ihram, and I, if I kill a mosquito, you know, the, is there any kafara, any dumb, etc. So he says, where are you from? He says, from, from uh, Iraq. He says, subhanallah, people of Iraq, you guys slaughtered Hussein, and you worried about the blood of a mosquito. Are you with me? That's in Bukhari. We discussed that during Hajj. But look at its relevance now. That shows in the mind of Abdullah ibn Umar, he placed a lot of blame on the people of Kufa. He placed a lot of blame on those people who called Hussein and deserted him. Those same people who rebelled against Ali. Those same people who wanted to assassinate Hassan. Are you with us? We also find, for example, Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha, that uh, she used to say that these people of Iraq, these people of Kufa, they're the ones who killed him. They deceived him. And as one of them used to say, you know, uh, I mean, Ajib, you know, the Fasik, the son of the Fasik. He's a Fasik, Hussein, and he's the son of a Fasik. When this individual turned, when he ceased to be a supporter of Hussein radiallahu ta'ala. Then we said we had the Tawabin movements, etc. Uh, you know, who also came out and they were seeking atonement because they realized that they fell short. Later on in history, we will find during the rule of uh, Hisham ibn Abdul Malik. You know, in Yemen you have the Zaydis. Uh, the Zaydi Shia. So Imam Zaid, he rebelled against Hisham ibn Abdul Malik. And during his time, the exact same thing happened. People of Kufa, and they didn't support him, and he was eventually assassinated. So how many times this has occurred? Allahumma sta'an.